Alright, you're back with Al and this is Chronicles of a Not Yet Champion Golfer. Following on from last week, I was hitting balls indoor with the Trackman. Hitting a ball into a net and looking at Trackman numbers is great. It's great to give you a bit of confidence. It's great to give you a base to know where you're at, where your swing's at, know where you've got to improve or, or know what you're doing well. But hitting into a net, there's no consequence. So I've got to put that into practice now. Hit into specific targets. I just swallowed a fly, I think. That's awful. Burp job, that's terrible. I don't know what sort of fly it was. Whew. So I've set three targets up. I've got, well, I've actually set six targets up at three yardages. I've got two targets at 140, two at 150, and two at 160. Now I've set a couple of cones either side of my target. So 150, I've got 15 foot either side, 10% of those yardage. 140, I've got 14 feet either side, and obviously 160, 16 feet either side, just to give me a that's acting as my green i want to get it within those sort of numbers from those yardages I always try and get 10 percent, and that's where you know i'm faced with those yardages more often than not on the golf course and it's where you're likely to make well give yourself the birdie chances anything outside of that statistically a par is a good score always try and practice the different targets don't just hit to the same target time and time time after again because when you get on the golf course and it looks different to you it's alien to you and then you don't really know how to play it and you end up shanking it into a pond. I'm going to hit six balls, two at 140, two at 150, two at 160. Basically just measure how far I am from the target and that's my proximities, my average proximity for those yardages. I've got a number to base it on and then I can come out and try and beat it next week. It's creating that sort of competitive mode that you need on the practice ground all the time. I'm fully warmed up already, ready to go. First yardage, 140, nine iron. Straight away this left the left target doesn't suit me looks like I'm going across the practice ground little fade for whatever reason that's just what it looks like to me for the life of me I couldn't hit a draw into this target which doesn't make sense because from the ball to target to straight line I don't understand why that matters but play the shot you can see play the shot you're comfortable with more so than the shot you think you should play good line um, it's probably the best 9-9 I've ever hit. Uh, yeah, it is. Best 9 I've ever hit. Right, this next shot. It's 140 again, it's just the target on the right. That's the ball. It says Ginger Prince on it. Found it today, plugged in the rough. So, if Ginger Prince, if you want to claim your ball. It's just Prince Harry's golf ball. Come on, Ginger Prince. Ginger Prince is loving life. Might be a little bit short, actually, but it's online, I think. Prince Harry, lad. Okay, next one's 150. Should have a little camera change. I'm still going with 9-iron, because they were like 80% jobby, so 150, just a nice solid 9-iron, these. Two targets again, one left, one right. Oh, a bit left. It's left. Go right. Come on. Short and left. That's highly disappointing. And I've got to be honest, I want to run up there, pick it up and pretend that's never happened, that shot. But like I've said before, it's a waste of time doing challenges like that. You get absolutely nothing out of it. So, so you see, I've reduced my head off, so. Anyway, so you get the idea on that. I feel like I'm much calmer these days. I've got to hit another shot now. 150 yards again. Should have changed to eight iron. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm okay with a nine. Stay, stay. It's a bit short. I should have changed there. The ball goes nowhere. Should have changed. Test of yardage and accuracy. Not just one. Got to have both. Right, final shots, two shots, change camera again. Just letting you know, like, it's not a different day or anything. Look, you can see the divots are still the same. It just looks brighter because I've just changed the camera settings. Anyway, the last two shots, one 160, aren't they? I've gone to eight iron. Just a pretty solid eight iron in treacle air, I think. If you noticed last week on the video, I was looking at, it's probably like 170 with eight iron. 
168 in the air um, but this just doesn't go anywhere in this so even though it is quite warm still it's pretty good that I think a little bit right but to me it looks further away so that's why I put those it's unbelievable how this camera makes it look like it's daylight because it is genuinely pretty dark to me it looks like that's quite away from the target but because I put those cones you know with the like 160 to 16 feet right and 16 feet left it's like halfway between them which is probably only going to be eight feet so that's why you set them out just to sort of give yourself an idea actually so you don't punch yourself in the head because it's actually not that bad a shot oh it's good right down it's a finish near the distance Straight down it's a finish. That's the point of the challenge. It's my glove. Always under pressure. Always trying to hit as good a shot as you can. Go up there, measure how far away they are. See if we're any good. I've got a lesson tomorrow, by the way. So when I go to Tenerife next week, I'll talk you through what I've been working on and what I've got to work on moving forwards. I'll probably do quite a bit of that on uh, Insta stories when I'm out in Tenerife. Um, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram, and you don't want to then don't but if you want to see a bit of me fitness stuff i'm doing a bit of golf stuff a bit of me dog a bit of me missus playing bin jenga you know and they build the bin up and it's like it obviously needs emptying but it's like balancing i'm getting annoyed again but that's ridiculous that why did you just just empty the bin but to be fair she edits all my videos so i'm not gonna go too deep into that Right, walk up, have a look how far away we are, and uh, get our number. See, if I go this way, camera's good, isn't it? Nice and light. But look, when you go that way, see, there you go. Dark as, light as. Don't know why it does that. When I get up here, I'll show you the cones that I was aiming for. First one, 140. Let's see how far away we are. There you go. 140. Proximity to it. one yeah one foot next 140 i mean i'm being hypercritical there that's obviously very good I'm, I'm very three six six feet so we're on seven feet total so from 140 my average one foot and six feet seven foot my average is three and a half feet on that those two shots I do not average three and a half feet from 140 yards. Obviously, they were just two very good shots. Um, but that helps me with these six shots. So we've got a total of seven feet so far. This was 150, a bit further away there. Three, six, nine, 12, 13 feet. From 150, it's inside that 15 foot parameter that I'm after. It's a chance for a birdie. Next one's a bit away though. Next couple are a bit away. Must be a bit of breeze up there. There's the 150, there's my ball there. I think this is disappointing, isn't it? What did I just say then? Seven foot, wasn't I? 13 foot, 20 foot total. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Disappointing that 21 feet from 150 outside that 15 foot target. 21 total. No, 20 total won it plus 21. Next one, 160. I've not hit enough bat here. There we go. So, oh, dropping them. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 feet. So 41, 51, 56 foot. Oh, moon job. 56 foot. And last one, little bit short. It is amazing the difference that the conditions make. You know, just the air thickness from indoors. It was, it was tra Trackman said it was going close to 170. And I'd say eight times, usually 165. But I've hit a good eight iron. This was the last one I hit that was straight down it. And it's not reached. Full on plugged as well, isn't it? Plugged. 
club. Right, what are we on? 51. 3, 6, 9, 11. So 11 feet, 51. So 62 feet. So those six shots, 62 feet, averaging just over 10 feet. Average, 140, 150, 160. That's good. 10 foot proximity, 140, 150, 160. I want to be within that 10%, so 160 be 16 feet, but I've got 62 feet total there for those six shots. But that's my base numbers. I've got a lot of confidence from that because I hit some shots that were short and some that I thought were quite far away, but if you're hitting to 15, 20 foot, it's not a disaster. But if you're hitting a couple to three and four feet, that's where you're making birdies. They were all pretty good line, all within the cones in terms of line which is good just the distance was a bit out i take a lot of confidence from that the work i was doing last week with face and path the shape's pretty consistent i feel like i've got good control over the club face good control over the ball flight i say pretty accurate it's just getting that yardage good which yeah, it's something you always need to work on on your distance control good challenge for you to do really easy to set up only takes you 20 minutes although this video seems like it's gone on for about three hours something you can do easily and keep track of again you know all my videos is about that keeping track of your progress other than that next time i'll be in tenerife so i'll see you next tuesday